I know it well. The frost mean trolls breed and plot atop that snow-blown mesa. I can only imagine what foul business the Zandalari have with them. We've lost many mountaineers to this freakish storm, or the trolls slithering about in it. Yes, this weather is not natural. Aye, I am loath to send my men into that. It reeks of ambush and bloody disaster. My champions will go. They will see what can be done, and rescue who they can. If they can stop that storm, I'll lead the Forge Guard to the top myself. It's heartening to see you here, Moira. You have my thanks. Indeed. With the aid of your champions, the Dark Irons will put an end to the Zandalari threat in Dunmoreau. We will prove our loyalty to the Council, Ironforge, and the Alliance here today, and with our own blood. Hmm. Farewell, Queen Regent. I'll see you when it's done, King of Stormwind. Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's Out of Bounds adventure leads us to the Blood in the Snow scenario in Mist the Pandaria expansion. We're going to be taking a look around the surrounding areas in the fake Dunmoreau. And uh, we're going to be getting out of bounds and seeing what's around here. I'm hoping they keep some of Cold Ridge Valley and Nomergon and maybe some of the Wetlands or Loch Modan. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go take a look around. But what fascinates me the most right now is they got the whole of Iron Forge in the background, which is really freaking sweet. I've actually never seen an Iron Forge out of bounds before, so I don't even know. I think this is the only one. I don't know if there is another out of bounds Iron Forge other than other scenarios maybe but let's go take a look around now I'm, I'm currently hitting a wall right over here so we're gonna have to place a pillow out of bounds which we'll do right here we're gonna jump on it and there we go guys we're out of bounds let's go take a look I'm excited I don't think I've actually ever seen an iron forge a whole if it's an old city I don't know it might just be the entrance but now it's piqued my curiosity and I'm very excited to go see what they keep Oh, the entrance closed. You know, I'm curious to see, though, if we could still get back here. Um, because, oh, look at that. You know, what we could do, actually, a lot of times, ooh, there we go. Or, you know what, what we can do is kind of what we did in the uh, undead sewers. Remember that, guys? And we uh, place the pillow down. I wonder if we could do this here and then just jump over. Oh, there we go. We're in Iron Forge. Now we just gotta somehow get in there, and maybe we can actually get in the back there. The only thing is, we would need to we need to clip somehow just a little bit see we're like oh no path available okay so maybe it doesn't actually exist here it just shows that you are an iron forge but you're really not that's kind of sad you know the other thing we could try real quick is we could see if we could switch to vengeance and just infernal strike at the wall ah there we go and then see. Ooh, that might work. No, it's too far. <laughs> Dang it. I think we can click onto it here, though. Ah, shoot. We placed it too far. I'm an idiot. Gosh, dang it. We I got it inside. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I want to get inside this Iron Forge, but I don't want you to sit here and wait for my cooldowns to come up for the pillows, so give me one sec. Alright, guys, we are back again. <laughs> I'm actually an idiot. I could have just jumped through the whole time. I didn't even have to wait for a pillow. So, anyways, we are inside of Iron Forge. This is flippin' sweet. And uh, let's go take a look around and see what we could find. Now, I'm curious to see if they're going to keep the whole city here. 
Ooh. Okay. It looks like they do keep most of it. Um. Okay. So we do got the auction house right over here. Now, let's go check out the bank. Ooh, the mailbox. You can even use the mailbox. Check that out. All right. That's awesome. The only thing I'm kind of afraid of is, um, oh, you can walk straight through. Oh, interesting. Normally, you can't do that. So there's no bounds limits here. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to switch back to Havoc. And the only reason is because when we fall or something, I want to catch myself. Because I'm kind of afraid to fall down. Because if we land in, like, the trenches here and we try to get back up, I don't think it's going to work. I think we're going to DC. So some a lot of times with developers in Blizzard, they will keep everything but if you fall into like holes or something you get dc'd and it actually doesn't exist there if that makes sense Ooh, i'm really curious to see if the deep run tram portal's here i've never been in an empty iron forge before this is kind of eerie but i like it let's check it out and it is here can we walk through the portal yeah we can nothing over there but all right awesome so, so far, they keep all of Iron Forge here. Now, I have a feeling we do got to be careful because we might run into an out-of-bounds wall. So, we do got to be careful here. Ooh, you know what would be really interesting? If they actually keep old Iron Forge below. All right, not getting in water, that's for sure. Water means DC. We all know that. All right, let's keep going forward. Guys, it looks like the whole city's here. Which is freaking awesome. All right, let's go in the middle here. Now I'm curious to see what they keep and what they don't. There's the flight master over there. Obviously not there. We can't fly. How how trip would that be if they kept like the flight master and you could like take a flight somewhere outside the map? <laughs> that would be like a trip. Ooh, old iron forge open. Now, hold on. This is kind of tricky because I have a feeling this is all DC. But I'm willing to test it out for you guys. Because I love you all so much. I'm going to do it. I might get stuck. We might just DC here in just a second. A lot of times going underground in a map, you DC. And so far so good. Oh wow, they do keep all old Iron Forge down here too. Who would have guessed? Check that out. Ooh, I wonder if the the uh, the room is open down there that you're normally not supposed to get to unless you're doing the dwarf um, the dwarf quest for the uh, the heritage armor or whatever. I think that's the door right there. We could probably jump past it, but that's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot there's a wall right here. Well, this is awesome, guys. So we got to see uh, all of Iron Forge and Old Iron Forge in and out of bounds. Like, how sweet is that? We're like making history here, people. I've never, I didn't know this existed out here. This is really cool. Awesome discovery. Now I'm sure this has been done, obviously, but I've never seen another video on it. So maybe I'm the first one to upload a video here. Um, I I'm gonna do some more of these scenarios and miss because I feel like they can bring us a lot of out, out of bounds secrets that we normally don't get to see. Check it out. We're on the throne. How dare you stand where he stood. Check that out. We're going to get a picture. Nice. I'm loving this, guys. All right, guys. Well, there obviously is all of Iron Forge here. I'm going to head back out real quick and I will see you in just a second. All right. Welcome back, guys, to us exploring Dunmoreau. We're going to go take a look around the surrounding area. We just came out of Iron Forge and let's go take a look around on the mountaintops. Now, I think if we head up this way, we can make our way up here. There we go. Now, you know what else? Another thing. I wonder if they keep the Iron Forge Airport in the back. Uh, they might. Maybe. I just got to remember where it's at. 
Because I think it's on that side, not this side, right? Or maybe it's on this side? I don't remember. <laughs> I can look. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, it's over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're heading the right direction. I bet you they do keep it here, though. It looks like they kind of do, because I can kind of see over that way at the mountain. Now, I'm sorry, guys, that my screen and the snow is so bright. Um, I have the stinky bright potion going, because if I take it off, it's really foggy. And there's kind of a fog of war, but it's like a really... It's like it acts like it's... It's not like regular fog of war. It's like foggy mist. And it's there, but it just obscures the view of everything. So let's go take a look up the mountain here. And let's go see what we can find for uh, going up here. Now I'm curious. If they keep the Iron Forge Airport. And uh, I don't know if they do, actually. Looks like it's ending. Look at that. Okay, so it looks like the map cuts off over here. So they don't keep any of the wetlands or anything, unfortunately. Can we go to the very top? And we can get a whole good view of this uh, map here. Ooh, we're definitely going to have to do the Sea Mist Potion selfie camera. So we'll definitely be breaking that out. Yeah. Ah. Uh, hold on. There we go. Look at that. We got to the top, boys. And girls. Whoever watching. Um, look at that. Cool. So we did get to the very top. Now, what we got to do... So we do got to break out our selfie. Sea Mist Potion. Let's see how big this map is. Dang, not very big, is it? So they really don't keep... There you go. So there's kind of the view of the whole map. So they really don't keep that much. They do keep all of Iron Forge, which was pretty impressive. Um, but you can kind of see that they don't keep the wetlands. They don't have any of uh, the other parts either. and So that's uh, kind of disappointing. But I'm still excited to see what's around. Because I do think they keep some of... Uh, what do you call it? Northridge Valley. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I was fucking coming back with the camera. Um, they do must. I think they do keep some of. Uh, yeah, Coleridge Valley, and I think they kept Nomergon from what I was seeing over there, but nothing too much over here. But I'm still interested to see. Oh, okay. So some of the airfield is right here. It looks like. So let's go fly down here and take a look. All right, let's do this cool Batman glide in the snow here. They do keep the campfire going up here. As you can see over the distance over there. Oh yeah, I can kind of see the airfield right here. Uh, with the Where the building is. Usually that's where it's at. So maybe they keep just a very tiny bit of it. But we do got to be careful because I think this is the edge of the map. And we don't want to get stuck. Um, so I'm going to bring up my HUD here for a minute. And that's it. Alright, so they don't really keep a lot of it here. So there goes the edge of the world, guys. So we found it. Right here. So as you can tell, the map is not that big. Um, which is kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to be a little bigger than it was. But that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Here we go. We found the airfield. Not much left of it, is there? Yeah, because it'd be... Where are we at? Like, right around here? So, as you guys can tell, they don't really keep much of it. Which is kind of disappointing, too. But that's okay. It's all good. We're here to explore the out-of-bounds. Alright, let's head up the hill here. And let's go see what they keep in the back here. Ooh, okay. So they do keep uh, going the road up to right around here. So this is where we're currently at. They kind of cut it off like right here. And you can tell they do have the stable farm area where you get your ram mount for the dwarves. And down here is the little Golbalar quarry. <laughs> I probably just butchered that. That's okay. And then normally there's like a cave or whatever right here you go into, if I remember correctly. This is pretty cool, though. I'm glad they keep all this here. Oh, 
Yeah, so everything is intact and modeled. Guys, it's been an awesome OB though. I mean, it's, uh, I think a really fire start that we got to go explore all of uh, Iron Forge right off the get-go. All right, let's go start heading back the other direction and let's go see what we missed. Let's go check out the uh, Ram farm over here. The homestead, I guess you could say. What's really awesome about this OB too, is that like every building and stuff is walkable. Normally you just DC down here. Normally in OBs. So I'm really happy that everything's kind of loaded in all that. I was really afraid of going down to the old Iron Forge as you guys saw earlier. Because normally you'd get DC'd and stuff like that, but here you didn't get DC'd, so pretty awesome. All right, um, I do apologize. Like I said before, it is very bright on the snow. If you guys are having a hard time looking at the screen, I'm trying to keep my camera away from the snow as much as possible, um, but I can't really avoid it because <laughs> there's snow everywhere. So unfortunately, um, now, let me show you guys what I was talking about. So if I don't have the stinky bright potion on, this is what happens. See, it's just like a snowstorm. And unfortunately, you really can't see where you're going. So, uh, man, that was a really lame attempt trying to get up that, wasn't it? Uh, here we go. Let's go this way. So I thought, I don't think this is better than the stinky bright potion. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments. If you guys would rather have this... Well, this video is already pre-recorded, right? So I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess either way. I'm um, just going to have to decide on one and stick with it. The only thing about this is that it's kind of hard to see where we're going. Um, so I think I am just going to turn on the Sneaky Bright Potion. There we go. That's much better. I, I think it's better. Even if it's a little blinding, I think it is better. Alright, I'm going to try to make my way around these mountains here. Like Uncle Rico would say. Throw a football over the mountains. Ooh, look at that. That was fancy, huh? I still got it. I'm going to be like the Australian breakdancer in the Olympics. Probably just as good as them, actually. With my uh, ventral retreats. Pretty much the same thing they did. All right, so they do keep. What's a little town? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> guys, I'm not even gonna attempt it. I for I, I don't remember how to say it properly. You guys know where it's at. That town right there. But they do keep all of it there, so you can walk over there if you wanted to. We're gonna keep heading out this way because we want to go check out Norridge Valley, or Coleridge Valley, I should say. Sorry, I keep saying Norridge Valley. Ooh, they, they do keep the plash the crashed air airplane back here. Wow, I cannot talk tonight. Goodness gracious. Excuse me, guys. One sec. Okay, I cleared my throat. There we go. I got some water. Like, goodness gracious. Normally, I can't talk anyways. You guys know. All right, let's get up the mountain here. And let's get all the way up here. And you guys can get an awesome view of everything. Look at that. So cool. Being in a Dunmer row. Out of bounds. Super cool. Alright, let's go keep continuing. We're almost there. I'm really curious to see if they keep Coleridge Valley over here. So that's what we're after. And if they do, I'm going to be so happy. And I feel like my work will pay off. <laughs> Alright. All right, so you guys can see another edge of the map here. They do keep the edge of the world. And if we keep walking out this way. All right, let's keep going. Let's mount back up here. Another shot of the world here. It looks like they do keep all of Nomergon over there too. So that's exciting. Let's go check that out next. 
All right, guys, let's go along the mountain top tier. It's so weird, you know, when I do these out of bound videos, I feel like I'm in like a Black Mirror episode or like the Twilight Zone. Because these out of bounds is like one giant liminal space, if you think about it. Because it's a familiar place, which is Dunmoreau. But it's just like a piece of it that's just kind of floating out in nothing. Like it exists in the game world. But it's just not really here, if that makes sense. Like it's weird. Ooh! Guys, they do keep all of Cold Ridge Valley. Look at this. Awesome. All right, let's see if they keep the entrance over here to the tunnel. It is blocked off, and it's actually normally blocked off in the game anyways. It was only ever really available during Classic. But you can see in there a little bit. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go take a look at uh, Cold Ridge Valley here. I'm excited. I want to go see if they see uh, if they keep any of the uh, troll villages. Doesn't look like they do from a view here. No, it looks like the map gets cut off right over here, so I don't think they're gonna keep it, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, just some of it barely is gonna be kept. I mean, you kinda get an underground view here. Which is kinda neat. Ooh, hold up. There we go. Now you guys can see better. I was like, you're messing with me, game. Messing with me. Alright, so they do keep the uh, camp over here that you get a quest from the dwarf. And they do have, like, one troll tent just chilling out over here in the corner. Check this out. And that's it. Not really two other much back here, but it's awesome that they keep the Cold Ridge Valley back here. I'm really impressed. I didn't think they would have kept it back here. I wonder what they decide to keep and what they don't to keep. Like, what is too far out and not too far out, if you guys know what I mean. Nathan Logic. What is too far out that isn't too far out? Um, I, you know, I was very curious. It'd be cool to get a Blizzard developer on here on the channel one time. Like, maybe an old one. And talk about some out-of-bounds stuff and why they, you know, do what they do. Oh, interesting. So they did, look at that. They completely made this so you can't go in there. That's kind of neat. All right, interesting. So you can't even go in the Anvimar. Look at that. Ah, they snowed it in. Interesting. Now, I bet you anything, it actually does exist in there. Now, I'm not gonna get in there because I feel like there's no point. Um, Maybe we could slip a pillow in there. Nah. Alright, it's just not worth going in there. Sorry guys, I don't want to get myself stuck or anything, so I'm just going to head back out with her. But that's interesting to see that they put it all snowed in. Alright, let's get up the mountain here. We got to find our way up the mountain. And I think we can get up right over here. Uh, eh, maybe. This might be a little more difficult. How did I get out? Hmm, how do I get out? Because I got out over there. Oh, here we go. Maybe we can use the tower and everything to our advantage. So we'll just make our way up here. Ooh, okay, and I think we can jump. Thank God we're playing the Demon Hunter, huh? Look at that. Mm. Should be a Demon Hunter Olympic, Olympic, Olympic gold medalist. Provincial retreating. I'm so good at it. Ooh, look at this. So that you keep a little. Uh, what is this? I you know. I don't think I've actually ever seen this in the game before. What the heck? Why is this my first time ever seeing this? Am I, like, new to World of Warcraft or something? Like, what the heck's going on here? Look at this old camp. It has, like, a little, uh, Nomergal machine, too. 
Did anybody tell me what quest or anything this involves? Because I don't remember ever this in the game. Has that been sitting back there this whole time right here? Just chilling in the game? Even in retail? Huh. I never knew this even existed. Okay. Well, you discover something new every day, huh? I'm not perfect, guys. I discover stuff too, so this is all new for me as well, apparently. Look at that, there's even a path leading up to it. What is this? There has to be some sort of quest or something you go back there. That's my guess. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. What is that little campsite that we just walked past? Now I'm curious. Alright guys, let's go head down into Nomergon here. And then we will wrap up the video. Ooh, they do keep a cave over here. Let's go check it out. I wonder if it's fully rendered or not. Or fully, uh... New Tinkertown, Frostman Hold. Now this is where I'm gonna be afraid to DC at. But we're going in. Might even hit a wall, too. So far, so good. No wall, no nothing. Alright, so they do keep all the cave here. And you can actually walk inside of it. Huh, it's really shocking to me. Normally in OOBs, you can't actually go inside of caves. So they uh, completely just get rid of them. And yeah, yeah, okay. So the whole cave is accessible. That's awesome. All right, let's go head back out. Let's go head out this way where we came to go see, which was Nomergon. Let's go mount back up. You know, this mount definitely fits in the Nomergon vibe, doesn't it? All the Tinker Town and stuff like that. All right, so we do got all the leper gas still here that we can see from the leper gnomes. Let's go um, head into Nomergon, and I'm curious to see if it's going to be here, and it's, if it's going to recognize we're going to go into Nomergon too. Oh, it does! Nice, it popped the music. That's exciting. And normally, I think this is the uh, entrance. Oh no way! There's an elevator. All right, we got to go down. This is where we're going to DC, isn't it? But we're going to DC together if we're going to do it. Oh, no way. Check that out. Why do they keep all this here? So they, look at this, they keep all of... Uh, this is crazy. This is where the gnomes start, usually. Wow, so you can go all the way back here. Man, I'm really shocked this is still here. This is crazy. Do they keep most of the gnome around here in the beginning? Gnome starting area. That's where the gnomes start, right there, right? Can we keep going back here? No way, we can. Awesome. This is sweet. So they have a gnome starting zone, iron forge, and the dwarf starting zone all into one place with the out of bounds. Guys, I am super impressed with this out of bounds. This is freaking sweet. It's so eerie being in here. Now I'm curious if the uh, Nomergon entrance is actually here. The only thing is, I don't remember where it's at. Okay, looks like there's more stairs here. This is amazing. Man, so they have the key. They actually have the working elevator in here and everything. That's insane. I did not think at all that they would keep any of this. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty amazed here. How far does this go back? Okay. That goes there. What's back here? And nothing. Okay. All right, let's go head on this way. Oh, they do keep the entrance to Nomergon. Check that out.
and you can go walk straight through it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're stopped by a wall though. Dang it. That would be cool to get back there. Because now I'd be curious. Oh, we're getting stuck. Unfortunately, we're getting hit by a wall, but that's really neat. Look at that. Normally, you can't come back here, so this is actually really cool to see. Talk about a liminal space. I gotta take a screenshot of this. Ah, sorry guys, I get all excited about the stuff. This is fun for me. Huh. Alright, well now we know they keep the entrance to the Normagon dungeon down here. And they keep the elevator going down here. So let's go take a look at rest outside. And then uh, we'll look to end the video. So thank you guys for sticking around for those of you who have this long. Um, it's pretty amazing that they keep all the stuff here. The elevator's coming. We gotta catch it. There we go. Alright, let's ride this up. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back outside. And let's go take a look around the remaining area. And see what they keep. And what they don't. But, as far as I'm seeing, everything is here and intact. Which is awesome. I did not think they kept this much out here. So I'm actually really genuinely impressed out there. Good job, Blizzard. Good job keeping all this stuff here. You guys get gold stars. Man, I was learning something new. <laughs> well, guys, I think we're going to wrap up the video here. There's not too much left to see. We did the whole circle. We did Iron Forge. Well, let's recap for a minute. We did Iron Forge. We went to, uh, yeah, we went to check out the, the airfield. We came over here to the quarry. We made our way around to Cold Ridge Valley. Then we did No More Gone. Now we're ending over here in the little, I don't know little base area with the hangar so pretty awesome i mean we did everything so i just want to thank everybody who's been still uh supporting the channel you guys are awesome i love all your guys encouraging comments with i love your voice nathan <laughs> i uh i you know I, I really appreciate you guys so much and uh, it's it's a big honor to be making these videos for everybody in the wow community you guys have just embraced me with the open arms and the love and common support and the likes and everything i get from everyone is just truly heartfelt and uh i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart it's been so much fun making these videos i can't wait to continue i'm going to be bringing out so much more out of bounds content for you guys until i can't no more and then uh i don't know we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but it looks like blizzard's still coming out with more content so we still got three more years of expansions we know that and then what comes after the last titan i don't know but uh yeah guys i just want to say thank you as always my name is nathan i'll catch you on the next one thanks for joining me in the blood in the snow scenario take care